Hey, how's everyone doing today? So, I uh, got into doing some Litzenberg burning. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm just going to call it microwave transformer burning. A couple years ago, I wasn't, I was not going to do a video on how to make one of these. And what changed my mind is, I don't want to use the word idiots, but there's a lot of people in YouTube world whipping these up. There's no safety involved. And I'm just like, dear God, people, don't copy what they're doing. It's their business is what they want to do, though. Anyway, I want to do a video showing how I made mine, how I made it extremely safe. Uh, the two features that I put on mine to make it safe is... Now, none of this has got electrical tape on it yet. I just left electrical tape off to show how I built it. Um... This obviously came out of a microwave, so did this light. So when I put the power to it, I see the light, I know there's power here. I also have one of these switches. So when I go to burn, I hit it. And when I'm done, I gotta let it go. It kills the power. So it's just two safety features. Uh, I think it's important to do that. Uh, but anyway, I'll uh, reposition the camera and show you the steps to actually make one okay so it's fairly simple to build it's a transformer you get your two leads going in here so for me what I've got was my power coming into here I got that soldered coming down in here to the light same on this one and that's all soldered into the light I did put a couple drops of heat glue under heat underneath here to hold that in place while this silicone sets up the heat glue is not going to last once this starts getting warm, but it'll hold it in place enough to let the silicone set up. A couple of screws on either side. Then the other side. Oh, also you're going to have two wires coming out here. Just clip those off. Put some electrical tape on it. Um, I don't recommend taping to this. You don't want any extra insulation on there because that does get warm. On this side, you're going to tap into this wire right here. Now, the last one I did, I soldered, but I thought, well, if this wire gets crowded or starts doing whatever, I can just unplug it, plug it in. Might be just fine. And then I've got a screw going down here. This is tapped into one of the leads for my clamps, which I'll show you in a minute. The other thing that's very important is make sure that these screws do not go through the wood. Now, on this side... Oh, sorry, I accidentally pushed the wrong button. So, on this side, I've got another screw down here. It's just what I had kicking around. It's a wood screw. And take a piece of sandpaper and just clean off the metal on underneath there where that's going to contact with this. And then that comes out to one clamp. And then the black one, as you see coming off here, comes out to the other clamp. So that's pretty much all is it, all is to it. So I will be doing some uh, the next few days, so I'll set the camera up and show you some of the burning. I'll also add a couple pictures of a couple of the projects that I have done. It is a lot of fun. Um, So yeah, there is a lot of fun to doing this. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, anyway, if you find this video helpful and you think you might want to build one, that's great. Hope everybody's having a great day. Long may you big jib draw. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.